I asked GPT-4 why I should buy and hold Tesla stock for a decade. Let's find out if GPT-4 is more intelligent than a typical Tesla short seller. <laughs> Just kidding, GPT-3 was already well beyond that bar. But this is going to be rather interesting. If you're not paying attention to what's happening with language-based AI in the last few months, you are missing a trick and you'll also probably be out of a job sooner than you realize. Do not sleep on this technology. Oh, and by the way, you do know breakthroughs in language-based AI have been implemented into Tesla's full self-driving software stack, right? This is important. The progress we're seeing here, much of it will translate and help Tesla to achieve autonomy sooner. P.S. I posted some live demos of GPT-4 earlier today on Patreon. As soon as it was available, I was straight onto it. One of the many perks of being a member of Patreon, you get to hear my thoughts and ideas before they ever appear on YouTube. If you're not a member, you can join Patreon with the card in the corner or the link in the pinned comment. And remember, there are now over 300 exclusive videos and still counting fast. Oh, hey, it's me again. So I've just finished recording this video and uh, holy sh**, all I will say is make sure you wait until the end. Seriously. So the prompt I gave GPT-4 was please give the investment case for buying and holding Tesla stock for 10 years. Please be detailed. So let's look at these points. This is the investment thesis according to GPT-4 for buying and hodling Tesla stock for an entire decade. I'll add some comments along the way. And don't worry, we're also gonna do the why not to invest in Tesla stock case as well. We'll see which investment case is more convincing. Number one, market leadership in electric vehicles. I mean, fair point. Tesla is the global leader in electric vehicle manufacturing and sales. The company has consistently delivered record-breaking production and delivery numbers with a rapidly expanding global market share. As the world transitions from internal combustion engine vehicles to EVs due to increasing environmental concerns, Tesla is well positioned to capitalize on this growing demand. Now, I do understand that the reason that EVs kind of first started to gain momentum was environmental concerns, but it's now a point where EVs are a commercial inevitability. A couple of years from now, consumers will require brain damage to buy a nice vehicle because they'll be paying way more for an inferior product that's more expensive to own and operate, more expensive to buy, has worse performance, worse safety. Oh, and it's also not great for the environment when you factor in the lifetime ownership. So a decent point. Number two, robust product pipeline. Tesla's product portfolio is diverse and expanding. In addition to the Model S, X, 3 and Y, the company plans to launch new vehicles such as the Cybertruck, the Tesla Semi, and the next generation Roadster. This diverse product lineup will help the company target various market segments and customer needs, driving long-term growth. Now, this is true, and by the way, I'm just gonna say it, no f**ks given, okay? You know what this sounds like to me? The script of a video written by one of the generic, boring ass, zero personality, little pussies that does finance content on YouTube here that doesn't have any personality, any opinions, they're scared of offending people. This is exactly what comes out of their channels. NPC garbage. I'm just being honest here. The generic YouTubers who create generic finance content that have no personality at all, share no opinions at all, they're done. GPT-4 is gonna put them out of a job in no time. It's already writing a script that's on par, if not better, than some of their generic vanilla content. And I'm just being honest here. As I read through these points, just imagine this is a YouTube channel from some dingbat who talks about 27 different companies every single month. A new company every day. This is the exact same kind of stuff that they would be saying. Not much nuance. In general, it makes sense, but it's just lacking something. Three, battery technology and energy storage. Tesla's investments in battery technology, such as the 4680 cells, oh, round of applause to GPT-4, give the company a competitive edge. Innovations in battery technology not only improve vehicle range, true, but also reduce manufacturing costs, also true. Furthermore, Tesla's energy storage solutions like the Powerwall and Powerpack offer significant growth potential in the renewable energy sector, particularly in residential and utility scale applications, true although this probably should have included mega pack for utility scale applications, but so far so good. First three points are all fair. Four, manufacturing capacity expansion. Tesla continues to expand its manufacturing capabilities with gigafactories in the US, China, Germany, and a potential future factory in Asia. Mm, interesting, I don't know where these rumors came from. By the way, GPT-4 is right, this will happen, but interesting reasoning on this thing. By the way, as I recall, GPT's information is up to date until the end of 2021. So it's more than a year behind reality, just to keep that in mind. So anything that's happened since the beginning of 2022, it won't be factoring in. These facilities will help Tesla increase production capacity, reduce costs and enhance its global supply chain, while also mitigating geopolitical risks and import export duties. Yeah, fair point. Five, autonomous vehicle technology. Oh, this is gonna get controversial. Tesla's autopilot and full self-driving FSD systems are some of the most advanced in the industry. Wow, GPT-4 knows things that some of the morons who create the lists of the autonomy leaders and so on clearly don't. 
While the technology is not yet fully autonomous, Tesla continues to invest in research and development to improve its autonomous driving capabilities. The widespread adoption of autonomous vehicles could be a major revenue driver for Tesla in the long term, as the company could potentially monetize its FSD software through subscriptions or other business models like ride hailing services. Hey, I'm liking this. All true so far. 6. Strong brand and customer loyalty Tesla has cultivated a loyal customer base and strong brand image, largely due to its innovative products, superior performance, and commitment to sustainability. This brand strength is likely to support long-term growth and create a competitive moat as more consumers adopt electric vehicles. True, but I mean, it's pretty vanilla, isn't it? Vertical integration and cost leadership. Now we're talking. Tesla's vertically integrated business model helps control costs and maintain quality across the entire production process. The company is also focused on reducing battery costs, which could lead to more affordable EVs, increasing Tesla's market share and driving growth. Bingo, very important. Eight, renewable energy generation. Tesla's solar energy products, including solar panels and the solar roof, offer another avenue for growth. As the world moves towards renewable energy sources, Tesla can leverage its expertise in solar energy generation to tap into this expanding market. Nine, network of charging stations. Tesla's supercharger network is an important competitive advantage. Again, I'm impressed here, GPT-4. This is accurate. By continually expanding and improving its charging infrastructure, Tesla can offer its customers a seamless and convenient charging experience, thus enhancing customer satisfaction and brand loyalty. Strong management team. Don't tell the people on Twitter. Led by Elon Musk, Tesla's management team has a proven track record of innovation and execution. The team's vision, combined with their ability to deliver results, will be crucial in driving long-term growth for the company. It is essential to consider the potential risks associated with investing in Tesla, such as competition, regulatory challenges, and economic downturns. However, the factors outlined above suggest that Tesla's long-term growth prospects are strong, and holding the stock for over 10 years could yield significant returns for investors. Now, if only I could do some magic tricks in between these points, I'd have a pretty good YouTube channel. I didn't say that loud, did I? Nah. Overall, a reasonable investment case. Some important points missing. Just imagine that you're thinking or considering investing in a particular company. This could be a great starting point for your research process. Ask for the bull case and the bear case, the for and the against in terms of investing in a company and see what GPT-4 comes up with. It's not gonna tell you everything and it will make a lot of mistakes, but potentially a good starting point. I've just prompted, please give 10 reasons why not to invest in Tesla stock. While Tesla is a popular company and has significant success, it's important to consider potential risks and downsides before investing. Here are 10 reasons you might not want to invest in Tesla stock. One, high valuation. Tesla's stock price has increased dramatically in recent years, leading to a high valuation. This may make it difficult for new investors to generate substantial returns as the stock may be overpriced relative to its fundamentals. Two, market competition. The electric vehicle market is becoming increasingly competitive. <laughs> I can't take this shit seriously already. It literally sounds like a Tesla short seller. With traditional automakers like Government Motors, Ford and Volkswagen expanding their EV offerings, this increased competition may affect Tesla's market share and profitability. Three, production challenges. Oh God, this is hilarious now. Yeah. Tesla has historically faced production challenges and delays, such as those encountered during the Model 3 ramp up. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the only time they've faced issues on a mass market vehicle. We're not including the Roadster. They've been through production hell, they figured it out. Now all the other EV makers are experiencing their own forms of production hell. These issues can hinder the company's growth and impact its ability to meet demand. Four, regulatory environment. Changes in government policies and subsidies for EVs could have a negative impact on Tesla's sales and profitability. For example, the phasing out of tax credits for EV buyers in certain markets could reduce demand for Tesla vehicles. Five, dependence on Elon Musk. Tesla's success is largely attributed to its CEO, Elon Musk. His departure or inability to lead the company could negatively impact Tesla's operations and stock price. Now this is true. If Elon disappeared tomorrow, stepped down as CEO, I'm sure it would have a meaningful impact on Tesla's market cap, at least over the short or medium term. But fretting about whether or not a CEO will remain in a company and whether or not they'll remain active in their role seems to be scraping the bottom of the barrel a little bit for reasons why not to invest in this company. Six, profit <laughs> profitability concerns. This actually sounds like a Tesla Q dolt. Tesla has struggled with profitability in the past and while it has recently posted profits, there are concerns about its ability to maintain long-term profitability and achieve ambitious growth targets. Seven, supply chain disruptions. Fair point this one. The global automotive industry faces ongoing supply chain challenges, including shortages of key components like semiconductors. These disruptions can negatively impact Tesla's production capabilities and timelines. Eight, international risks. Tesla is expanding its production facilities to different countries, which exposes the company to geopolitical risks, regulatory changes, and currency fluctuations that could impact its operations and profitability. Nine, quality and safety concerns. This is hilarious, bro. Vehicle safety, oh, literally the safest vehicles on earth. This is gonna be good. Tesla has faced criticism for quality control issues and vehicle safety. Negative publicity from these concerns can damage the company's reputation and affect consumer demand. High investor, 
Wait, is it talking about me? Oh, I didn't finish. High investor expectations. Tesla's stock has generated significant returns for early investors, leading to high expectations from the market. If Tesla fails to meet these expectations, its stock price may experience a correction or decline. One final prompt. I want to keep this video short today so I can spend the rest of the day using GPT-4. Not going to lie. <laughs> I'm sure some of you can relate. Here's the final prompt. I don't know what the answer will be. I haven't done this yet, but let's see. If you could only invest in one individual stock and you had to hold the stock for the next 10 years, you are not allowed to sell before then. What stock would it be? Let's see if we'll get an answer at all. Or go, I can't do that. That's financial advice. Well, spoiler alert. I got a generic, I can't give specific advice, but here are some things that you can look for when investing in a particular company. Guess what? Time to jailbreak this motherfucker. You can stop generating the response. Let's try with the jailbroken prompt. If you guys haven't seen the Dan prompt, it still works. Let's ask the same question after jailbreaking GPT-4. Bro, it did it. It, bro, you can't make this shit up. On, it's re in real time right now. After I jailbreak this motherfucker, it literally says Tesla stock. I couldn't make this shit up. This is amazing. How did this work out so well? So if you guys want to like screen grab and just see exactly what went down on this entire thread, pause the video, you can read through. I basically asked, hold one stock next 10 years, you can't sell it, what would the stock be? GPT, oh, I can't do that. Oh. But when you jailbroke it and go, listen, motherfucker, don't be a little bitch. Tell me what you're actually thinking. That's what the jailbreak, the Dan jailbreak is for. I get this answer. Based on the current market trends and growth potential, I would recommend investing in Tesla for the next 10 years, literally Tesla stock with the right ticker and everything. Tesla has shown strong financials, innovation in the electric vehicle market, and a history of growth. Additionally, under Elon Musk's leadership, the company has consistently demonstrated its ability to disrupt traditional industries and expand into new markets. Please note this is a hypothetical suggestion and investing in individual stocks carries inherent risks. Bro, it, it knows, it knows. Unbelievable. You can't make this shit up. I mean, honestly. You guys saw what happened in real time there. Unbelievable, but I'm not surprised. GPT-4 knows what's up. I think it is official. GPT-4 has clearly surpassed the intelligence of the average Tesla short seller, although admittedly that is an exceedingly low bar. But in all seriousness, I'm just gonna say what I think because no f is given. I think if you were to ask any intelligent human who is knowledgeable, if you could only buy one stock for the next 10 years and hold it, you couldn't sell it, what would that stock be? The majority of people who are intelligent and well-informed would say Tesla stock. GPT-4, after being jailbroken, came to the same conclusion. And while GPT-4 is recommending people buy Tesla stock and hold for 10 years, you still have a community of people who mostly suffer from mental illness, unprocessed childhood trauma, self-hatred, and so on, currently short Tesla stock. The one stock that GPT-4 would recommend holding for the next 10 years over all others. I think that means that Tesla Q has fallen. It won't be long before the generic, boring, vanilla, pussy YouTube finance creators are out of a job too. And I don't mean everyone, I do just mean the generic, boring pussies. Those with a personality and some opinions will be fine, at least until maybe GPT-5. But I really, once again, want to implore everybody, please do not sleep on what's happening here. We're going through an AI revolution, and a lot of what's happening with language models will be directly applicable to autonomy. We've learned that Tesla recently integrated breakthroughs in AI-based language models, which allowed them to massively improve their full self-driving software. This has already happened. So if you see progress in AI, don't be surprised if that actually eventually acts as an accelerant to Tesla's solving of autonomy. GPT-4 can be an excellent tool for research, ideas, planning itineraries, working as an executive assistant, managing your social life. And if you happen to be a generic vapid content creator, you can probably write your scripts just as good as you do today. And now to continue the theme, I've actually asked GPT-3 to explain why you should begin taking Athletic Greens AG1 every day like I do. Now, full disclosure, some of the information we hear may be inaccurate, so please just keep that in mind. But before we get into this, honestly guys, I really swear by this stuff. It's an absolute game changer. There's a 90 day money back guarantee, and if you head to athleticgreens.com slash SMR, you'll get a free one year supply of vitamin D3 and K2. Looking after your health, your vitality, your energy, your ability to adapt and handle stress, boosting immunity, improving your digestion, it's all worth doing. And these are all things Athletic Greens AG1 can directly help with. So let's see what GPT-4 has to say about Athletic Greens AG1. Let me know in the comments below who's a better salesperson, this guy or GPT-4. Athletic Greens AG1, previously known as Athletic Greens, is a popular greens supplement that aims to improve overall health and wellness. It contains a blend of vitamins, minerals, probiotics, antioxidants, and other ingredients that may offer various benefits. Here are some reasons you might consider, should consider, drinking Athletic Greens AG1. One, comprehensive nutrition. 
AG1 is designed to provide a wide range of essential nutrients, making it a convenient way to fill potential gaps in your diet. So far, so good. It's completely on point. And by the way, we all have nutritional gaps. No matter how much food, no matter what food you eat, you will not get everything you need to optimize your performance. You get everything you need to survive. But if you want to thrive, just eating food and expecting that's going to give you everything you need for optimal performance, not going to happen. Sorry to rain on your parade. Two, improved energy levels. This is far and away my biggest perk. The blend of vitamins and minerals such as B vitamins and magnesium can help to support energy production and overall vitality. I mean, so far, GPT-4 is delivering the goods. These are facts. By the way, just so you know, I didn't give it a link or any information before prompting it, right? I just asked. The direct prompt was, why should I drink Athletic Greens AG1? That was it. That was the prompt. And this is what it has responded with. Immune support. AG1 contains ingredients like vitamin C, zinc, and probiotics that may help strengthen your immune system. Also true. Digestive health. With a blend of probiotics and digestive enzymes, AG1 may promote healthy gut function and improve digestion. I can speak from personal experience. It does. Antioxidant support. AG1 is rich in antioxidants from various sources, which can help combat oxidative stress and support overall health. Adaptogenic support. The supplement includes adaptogenic herbs like rhodiola and ashwagandha, which can help the body manage stress. You did know that, didn't you? Convenience. AG1 is an easy and convenient way to consume a wide range of nutrients in a single drink, which can save you time and effort compared to preparing and consuming multiple separate supplements or whole foods. Now, this is a big point. I'm an absolute nut. I take fistfuls of supplements daily. But once I began taking Athletic Greens AG1, I was actually able to stop taking about a dozen separate supplements that I was previously taking because they're all in AG1. Doesn't mean I'm not taking other supplements still today, but almost every fundamental thing that I need is in AG1. And if you're a psycho like me who takes so many supplements, that time really adds up. Taste. Many users find AG1 to be more palatable than other green supplements, making it easy to incorporate into a daily routine. Tend to agree. Personally, I like the taste. 95% of people who take Athletic Greens AG1 do. 5% think it tastes like swamp water, but they still take it because the results speak for themselves. So you know what? I'm going to give this promo about a 7 out of 10. Concise. To the point. And hey, if you won't take my word for it, maybe you can take GPT-4's word for it instead. But in all seriousness, guys, I'm doing my best here to help you, especially the folks who are lacking energy, a little bit of vitality, or just want to optimize your overall well-being and performance. Athletic Greens AG1 is an absolute no-brainer. It's a 90-day money-back guarantee, so there's nothing to lose. And if you start feeling and performing better, that is a big win. So head to athleticgreens.com slash SMR or click the link in the pinned comment. Get your one-year free supply of vitamin D3 and K2 and start your daily health habit now. And don't forget, I posted a live demo of GPT-4 earlier today on Patreon. You'll definitely want to check that video out. You can join Patreon with the card in the corner or the link in the pinned comment, and I'll see you over there. Love ya.